at the end almost to the corner so I'm going to continue to stitch this together. I have it laying flat it just seems to be a little easier for me. Find the next one. Coming up to the corner, just kind of even it out, and then just as best as you can, try to find the corner area to stitch to the poncho. And I think I'll go one more, which will be right, I'm sorry, one more in the corner. On this side, I will be taking this stitch to pull it over, going through there. Pulling it tight. To me, that looks like the corner stitch. It looks pretty good. This is what the stitch looks like on the inside. And you shouldn't be able to see it too much on this side. So this is what it'll look like on the outside. Oh, you can see it a little bit there, but not too bad. For the most part, you can't see it. So this will be the outside. This will be the inside. Where you can see where we stitched it together. So to finish it off, I'll just go again one more time inside there. Go through here to make a knot, pull it tight. I know some people don't like to make knots in their work. I don't mind because pretty much you can't really see it. I'm going to go one more time. Stick it through the loop and pull tight. And then of course I'm going to tuck this in and I'll just run it through a few stitches. Run it through a few stitches here. And then continue I'm going to go this way, run it through a few this way, then I'll go back in the same direction. I usually will go back over in the first one that I came under, I'll just go back over that. Again this will be on the inside, pull it through, can't really tell. And then just try to tuck it in a few more and cut it off. So I'll cut off my tail. So there we are with this first piece. So you got this end here sewn to this side. Now, like I said, what we are going to do is grab the longer side over here and fold it over to where it's even in this corner. Straighten it out. And then you're left with the short piece here. And we're going to fold this up to be even with this edge here. So we folded it up and then we're going to sew down this end. And then here will be the neck opening. So 
I'm gonna turn it. Let's see. So I'm gonna meet up the corners here and I'll stitch these two corners together and I'm gonna go down all the side until I get to the next corner. So holding my two corners together. Again, these are my starting chain tails. I didn't clip them, I'll tuck them in later. Those are fine to leave if you decide you want to add a fringe to the ed, the edging end. I was going to say end and edging and it came out ed. So the edge, if you want to leave that, you can leave those and make a fringe. Okay, so I'm going to connect these two together going into the corners. One more note too before I do this, um, when you connect it together you just want to make sure that it's going to be inside out so you'll have to flip it a bit and then even up your edges here. I'm sorry about that. I'm not trying to confuse anybody, just make sure that when you flip it and, and you get your two ends together that you have it on the wrong side, the, the inside. That way you don't see your stitching together pieces. Um, then, so we're gonna stitch it together, working into the corners. Pull the thread through. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and make my knot. Holding my tail down, I'm just going to continue to sew this together all the way across. Picking up the outer edges around my tail, pulling tight to secure it. Go to the next piece. And like I said, just moving down and stitching the pieces together. So I am going to continue this all the way across and I'll meet you at the end. Here we are at the very end of stitching it together. I just have a few more spaces to go. I'm going to stitch this piece together, move over to about right here, then I'm going to stitch about right here, then I'm just about to the corner piece which I still have a little tail here so I could kind of just grab in that area I don't know if it's hard to see, but I'm just going to grab into my corner piece and go in through about right here, pull through, and here I have stitched together to form the neck opening. So here's the neck of the poncho looking inside of it. This will be the neck. I'm going to go ahead and secure it and this is where I'll just grab again through here, pull it through and then go in the loop, secure it, make a knot, I'm going to do that one more time, go through, put it in the loop, pull it tight to secure it and then I want to tuck it in. So I'll run it through a few pieces here, go 
come up through about right there. I'll go into a few of my stitches that I have through here. Kind of work it up through there. Pull it through. It's just kind of random how you tuck in your tails. I just kind of randomly go through stitches. I'll go through about right here. Pull it through here. And then as I did the other one, I'll just kind of go back through. Going towards. Pulling it through these. Again, no special way to do it. It's just all random through your work. Go up through here. And maybe through the base of here. Pull it through. I think that's secure enough. Grab my scissors. Cut the tail off. And there we are with the sewing it together. So here's my my stitch my my side I sewed together. Again, here is the opposite side I sewed together. Oh, sorry, knocked my camera. Here is the neck opening. So right now you're looking at it upside down. I'll turn it around. Here we got the neck opening. Here we got the whole poncho. Now we want to just turn it inside out to look at it. Sorry, this, this is kind of big now for my little space I'm working in. Um, I Let me set this up. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to set it up. So I could get a better view to you guys of what the finished poncho looks like. Okay, so before we tuck in all the strings, and at the end of the tutorial, here is the finished poncho. You have it sewn together here. You can't really tell. It's a pretty good stitch. I'll flip it over. Here's the opposite side, and again, here is where we stitched it. All I have to do is go through now and tuck in all the tails. So for this one, I will tuck into this color. This one I will tuck into this color. I will repeat that. Now, if you want to go ahead and do an edging around the poncho, you can do like a single crochet. If you're going to do a single crochet just in this corner down here, you want to do three single crochets in the corner and go back around. You can also do an edging up here in the neck. Again, you can do single crochets evenly around. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine. I think that it looks good like that. And also, if you want to put fringe, you would just put fringe and evenly space it in within these holes all around the border. I would do a few more in the corner stitch if you do a fringe. Anyway, you can edge it any way that you want. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if um, if I didn't tell you clearly enough how to fold it in order to stitch it, please, please email me. I can get you a diagram. I can try to explain it better. Just anything. I'm here to help you out. Um, I will see you again at the next tutorial Thursday. I probably will be doing one every other week. I'm going to also start uploading some smaller videos beginning crochet um, for my mom who lives in Texas and wants to keep continuing to learn more and more. It's hard being not near her to help her so in between I may have some smaller just how-to videos how to crochet for beginners.